In addition to lush ecosystems, Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary protects an estimated 1,000 shipwrecks. These shipwrecks tell the story of our nation's maritime history and are exciting places to dive and explore. Molasses Reef in Key Largo, Florida is one of the most popular dive destinations in the United States. On Molasses Reef, we have a mixture of cultural and natural resources. One specific resource is the shipwreck Slobodna, which grounded there in 1887. Parts of the ship were taken away in a subsequent hurricane that happened in 1888, leaving a triangle pattern of different concentrations of the shipwrecked material. Slobodna wreckage can be found in different locations at Molasses Reef. One site is known as the Foremast Site. This was part of the ship's bow that was taken to this section of the reef after the 1888 hurricane. There we see different parts of the mast, the rider knees, and other components. The other site, known as the winch hole site, is a heavily dived spot in Key Largo with its own mooring buoy. It's an eight-foot winch that belonged to the ship and one of the parts that fell off when the ship listed to port while being hit by squall after squall. Eventually, it began to disintegrate. The Slobodna was 170 feet long by 34 feet wide. It was a very large, three-masted, full-rigged vessel with square sails, which makes for a very interesting dive. There are a number of things to see at the site besides wreck artifacts. There are dramatic swim-throughs and a variety of soft and hard corals. When taking the size of some of the coral formations into consideration, one can envision when the ship arrived at Molasses Reef that the impact would have been just tremendous. Shipwrecks like Slobodna are popular diving and recreation sites within Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. They also serve as important habitat, providing refuge for fish, invertebrates, sea turtles, and more.